Well, hello everybody. So today I'm going to talk about dark circles. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I have lived my whole life with really dark under eyes. It's definitely probably like the biggest insecurity that I have about my face. And I've always had, I've always had them always. I mean, as long as I can remember, I've had them since I was a kid and I've always felt really self-conscious about it. As an adult, people always comment, like if I don't wear makeup, I always get comments from people saying like, are you okay? Are you, did you sleep last night? Or I always get comments like that. Or like, are you sick? Or it's like, no, this is just, just how my eyes under eyes are. <laughs> They're just dark. That's how they've always been. So I've, I've really perfected a technique with my makeup to cover them up pretty well that they're not noticeable anymore and like I said I've really perfected a routine that works for me so I wanted to share it with you guys and maybe somebody has the same concerns as me and hopefully this gives you some ideas on what you can do and hopefully it works for you. So starting off an important part that I find really makes the difference is prepping the under eye so making sure that it's really moisturized and because I'm going to put a lot of product on and a lot of the products I use are more like matte dry formulas, I make sure that my under eyes are really moisturized. So I use an eye cream and I usually let it sit for at least 10 minutes before I start putting other things on top of it. So it's the product has had a chance to sink into the skin. Now moving on to the most important part. For years I didn't do this and maybe about one to two years ago I discovered this product and it has completely changed my life. So that's um, the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the shade Light to Medium. So basically it's like a, a peachy kind of color corrector. That's what it's called. That's what it is. It's a color corrector. So basically it's like a peachy color for my skin tone peach slash pink is actually the um it color corrects dark like purple blue shadow sh not shadows it color corrects dark i have so much glitter on my face <laughs> so for my skin tone Peach and pink are good color correctors for dark circles, for purple and blue um, discoloration. So I find if I put this on underneath my concealer, it really makes me have to use way less concealer, which makes my under eyes look much better. You only really need a tiny little bit. So what I do is I take my ring finger and I'll just rub it in there, just get a tiny little bit, and I'm just gonna tap that on my under eye. I'm gonna go mostly in the inner corner and to about halfway to three quarters out. And already that made a big difference. I don't know if you can tell, but it already makes a big difference in the darkness. So I'm gonna do it over here. For me, I find the key is, um, first of all, not using a ton of product, like I said, and also to tap it so it gives you the most coverage and not swiping it. You don't really ever want to like swipe with too much pressure under your eyes because it is very delicate. Okay, so I did that. Okay, so far so good. Okay, the next step, I'm gonna use my concealer. So for my concealer, I've tried so many concealers for my preference, it's the perfect concealer. If I didn't have such dark circles, I probably wouldn't use this because it is a bit drying, but for me, I feel like it's worth the drying factor because of how much coverage and doesn't crease, which is really important to me because when I smile, I've got a lot of lines and almost every other concealer I've ever tried breaks down and gets into the cracks and it just looks worse than if I just didn't wear makeup at all. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. It's obviously really well-known concealer and I use the shade light beige. Now I use the shade, excuse me. I use the shade light beige 
because it has a pinky tone or pinky undertone to it. Like I said, pinks and peaches color correct for me. Actually, I should have. I'm gonna take off one side so we can compare the two. It's gonna be beneficial. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Tarte Shave Tape. Now that I've put on the Becca color corrector underneath, I don't need to use a whole lot of product. So if you ever watch people on YouTube putting makeup on, especially people that are younger, like in their 20, early 20s or whatever, they really like pile on the concealer. For me, I feel like that's too much. I just really just take a little bit and just put it mostly just in the inner corner. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush. So this is a concealer brush from Sigma Soft Blend Concealer F64, but any kind of like fluffy brush will do. And I'm gonna just start to pounce it and spread out the product. I need just a little more. Once I've spread the product out with my brush, I'm gonna take a damp beauty sponge. It's not wet, it's not dry, it's damp. So I ran it under the faucet and squeezed it out. And I'm just gonna smooth the rest over. So I just smooth the rest over. The final step that I do is I like to set it with a powder. Again, a powder that has a little bit more of like a pink tone to it. The one I'm using is actually discontinued and doesn't exist anymore. I bought several backups of it when I knew it was gonna be discontinued. It's the Patrick Star and MAC Patrick's powder. It has like a pink tone to it. Another alternative that I like to use is the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. You can get this at the drugstore. It has a little bit of a tint to it and it has a little bit more coverage. So sometimes if you put like a translucent powder on top of it, it will actually change the color of your concealer. So I like to have something that has a little bit of a tint to it, but of course you can do whatever works for you. So I am gonna use the Patrick's powder, even though it doesn't exist, but if you find the Fit Me powder in a tint that works for you, I suggest that because it does have a, adds a little more coverage. So I'm gonna take the damp sponge that I used. I just put some into the cap, put my uh, sponge into the cap, and then I'm gonna press the powder and just set it. I don't go crazy, I don't do a whole lot, I don't bake or anything, but I just set it so that it's flat now. So, and it's not wet anymore. So hopefully you guys can see the difference between my two eyes and I really feel like this side looks much more even, much more bright. Of course, I still see like a hollowness, but that will never go away, you know, unless I get surgery, but I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, so I hope this helped you guys. I hope it helped somebody. This is just something that I've struggled with always and I've always been self-conscious about it. So through a lot of trial and error, this is what I found works for me. If there's anything you take from this video, I really, really, really highly suggest this Becca color corrector. It's changed the game for me, so. Okay, well, thank you for watching. For me, makeup is like a huge passion of mine. I love playing with makeup. I love putting makeup on and I'm by no means an expert. I'm just a regular person that likes makeup. So, you know, most of my experience comes from dancing, ballroom dancing. I teach ballroom dancing. And so I've done a lot of competitions and putting makeup on for competitions and shows and stuff. That's where a lot of my experience comes from. And um, I never really wore makeup when I was in high school or anything like that, very little bit. So this is just my, my hobby. So thanks for watching. And if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.